Hi everyone! Today's video is all about etching glass with Armor Etch. A couple years back, I etched several mirrors as gifts. Recently, my mom asked me if I could etch a mirror for her too. This is actually a mirror frame that my mom and dad made many years ago. And I have here a piece of glass that was cut to fit by the local glass shop to fit the frame. My mom loves hummingbirds, so I'm going to etch a small hummingbird in the lower corner of this glass. There are many different methods for etching glass items at home, but I'm going to be using the acid etching method, and the product I am using is called Armor Etch. Before I begin, I just want to emphasize that this tutorial is designed for adults only. I'll be handling sharp knives and acid, both of which can cause severe damage or bodily harm if used improperly. I'll include a link to the Armor Etch website in the description below, so please be sure to thoroughly read the directions and safety precautions before you begin. Here are the supplies you will need for this project. For the acid etching method, you will need a stencil to mask off the surface. You can purchase pre-made stencils specifically for glass etching, or you can make your own design. I'm going to be etching this mirror with a design I created specifically for etching glass. And depending on what device you are viewing this video on, you might notice I also adapted this design into a vector drawing for my channel watermark. When you are creating a stencil for glass etching, it is a bit different than creating designs for other purposes. For this stencil, I thought in terms of positive and negative space. The positive areas in black are the areas that will be etched, and the white areas represent the negative space. So you need to strike a balance between the positive and negative areas. In this design, for example, I left a margin of white around the beak, between the wings and the body, and in a few other places until I felt that I had a balanced design. Once I had a design I liked, I needed to cut out the stencil. If you have a cutting machine like a Cricut, it should be quick work, but I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to be using contact paper and an X-Acto knife. The first step is to thoroughly clean the glass of any dirt or other residue that might interfere with the etching cream. Next, I removed the backing paper and applied the contact paper to the surface of the glass, being sure to smooth out any air bubbles. I covered the entire surface area of glass because although I will be etching only a small corner of the glass, I want to protect the entire area from accidental contact. Etching cream is permanent and it begins working instantly, so even a brief second of accidental contact can permanently mar your piece, and there really isn't any good way to fix that. Now I haven't trimmed out my design yet because there are a lot of very small details in this design. And through experimentation I found it to be virtually impossible to trim these details beforehand with a pair of scissors. So instead I will be trimming the stencil directly on the glass surface with an X-Acto knife. I transferred the design to my contact paper just by tracing out the design with pencil. 
Transfer paper would also work for this purpose. I then filled in the design with black sharpies so that I could clearly see the positive and negative areas. Using a small, sharp knife, I slowly and carefully trimmed out the black areas or the positive areas of my design. I then carefully peeled away the black areas, revealing the design to be etched. For this part, you really just need to go slow and take your time. After I trimmed my design, I took a moment to carefully clean the exposed areas of glass, just in case the contact paper left any adhesive residue. Now at this point you want to carefully inspect your work because all the exposed areas are going to be the places where the glass is going to be permanently etched. And when I'm satisfied with my design, it's time to etch the piece. If this is your first ever time etching, I recommend doing a couple of test pieces to get a feel for how the product works and how long to leave the etching cream on. You can raid the recycling bin for glass jars to practice on. My etching cream is a bit old, so I just want to test to confirm it's still fresh enough to use. The directions on the Armor Etch website say to leave this cream on for one minute, but from my sampling I found that I got better results with two minutes. Now as I said before, etching cream is an acid and it is permanent. I'll be wearing safety goggles to protect my eyes, acid resistant gloves to protect my skin, and working in a well ventilated area. Also be sure to protect your work area because this product can potentially etch your work surface. Don't use this product on items that have strong sentimental value, heirlooms, antiques, or basically anything that is irreplaceable to you. So just be a smart human and treat this stuff with due respect. I also have a plastic tub with water nearby to rinse the etching cream off when the time has elapsed. The etching cream could potentially etch your sink, so I'm just doing this in a plastic tub just to avoid that. After giving the cream a stir, I carefully spread the etching cream across the area to be etched. And I'm just using a wooden stick for this. Once the entire area is covered with a generous layer of etching cream, I'm going to leave this on for two minutes. And when the two minutes is up, I'm going to carefully rinse the piece with water to remove all traces of etching cream. Now this is a part where I found you want to be extremely gentle when you are rinsing this away.
When you are done rinsing away the etching cream, you can neutralize the acidic water with baking soda so that it is safe to discard. When the glass is thoroughly clean and dry, and all the etching cream has been cleaned up, I can safely remove the stencil. And here's the finished mirror. I think it turned out really nice and my mom was really happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!